If you are able to use your television for nothing other than useful things, then I would say, I'm not going to make a judgment on that. But if you find yourself wasting your time, if you find yourself being entrapped by this machine and, and following the addictive patterns of the vast majority of people, then get rid of it. Just get it out. I mean, that's my advice to you, a sincere advice as a brother to you, get rid of the machine. Because it's very powerful, it's addictive by nature, this has been proven. Read the Prince for Elimination of Television. There's many books that have been written that have proven that the quality of life of those people who have gotten rid of this machine has been enhanced. And they do not miss it. And this is a reality. And I, and I can attest to that because I've lived without that machine for several years. And I have no desire. It's, it really is a corruptive element. It will destroy your children. If you allow, it's like having shaitan as a babysitter. It's just allowing shaitan to take care of your children. It will sow corruption. And I'll just give you one example. The Grunwald, I think his name is, the, the, the Yehud that is, is responsible for this uh, program called The Simpsons. Right? Now, I know this program's here. In the United States, it's a very popular program. This man is an anarchist, self-declared anarchist, openly. He said in an article, in an interview that he did, that his goal in life was to undermine all forms of authority. But he realized that because people have a natural inborn tendency against anarchic tendencies, that we tend to more follow authority. And there's positive and negative aspects of that. He said that he realized that the best way to put, give his ideas, put anarchistic ideas out there was to do it and make people laugh at the same time. So that they think it's like a joke, that they're watching some kind of comedy or something like this. And, and, and this is not simplistic. Children that watch these programs, these are role models. They're watching uh, children that are grossly, what we call aql waridain, which is a kabira in Islam, is disrespect, filial impiety, gross disrespect towards your parents. This is one of the seven mubiqat. And this is what television teaches children. If you watch these programs, you will see that children are constantly arguing with their parents, fighting with their parents, undermining the authority of their parents. If you watch films like The Little Mermaid, um, Aladdin, the... Uh, the, just to use those two as an example, or the Goofy movie. These are put out, mass movies that are put out. The message, the basic message of Aladdin is a very clever uh, propaganda piece. The basic message is, is that tradition is something that should be broken. Right? This is a message to the children. Tradition is something that should be broken because in the film, the, 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 the princess is not allowed to marry a poor person. It's against the law. And the father's against it. But in the end, she goes against her father, and in the end, the father accepts it. And this is the message, that if your father's against something, in the end, he'll accept you. So just go against him, break authority, do these things. This is a constant theme. And The Little Mermaid is the same. So these are so-called, quote-unquote, innocent films being put out. You take your children to them, there's indoctrination going on. And the best propaganda is, the, is that which you don't recognize. This is the, the most effective form of propaganda, is that which you are not aware of yourselves. So we have to be very careful of allowing... Uh, Neil Postman said that, that the, the Americans no longer need to send armies like the previous colonists do. They just send their television programs to colonize people. Because their whole message is consumerism. When I, we, on the way here, we had an Algerian brother we met who had a hat that said L.A. And I said, are you from Los Angeles? I didn't know. He said, no, I'm from Algeria. I said, well, it's almost the same now, right? And he said, he said, where are you from? I said, Los Angeles. I mean, I'm technically from that area. And he said, Los Angeles, put his thumb up. The best place. I said, oh, you've been there? He said, no, but I've seen it on the, t the movies. You see, and this is it. I met one Muslim Arab in a Muslim country. He told me that he, Ana Marib, wa Amrika Shifai. He said, I'm sick and America's my cure. And really, there's a lot of people, unfortunately, they believe this. And this is the effectiveness of the propaganda. This is the effectiveness of the propaganda. So we have to recognize it for what it is, begin to pull our children out of this system. We have to develop our own school system. And don't put Islamic school, you, why do you have to put the Islamic school, just private school? I mean, a lot of this problem that Muslims are having in England is over this religious issue. Get your children out of the public schools. 
Get them out of the public school. Get them into your own schools. If you're going to stay here, you have to do that. It's imperative. Because the school is the process of indoctrination. It is not a neutral educational system. It is based on a complete indoctrination of your children. We have to become economically independent. We need to begin to pool our resources economically. I mean, this is absolutely imperative. We have to support Muslims. We have to support young people to go and, and, and study. We need scholars. We are literally in a critical, we are in a crisis, a scholastic crisis that this Ummah has never had in its history. And this is the truth. We have no visionaries. We have no people that understand this deen anymore. The Prophet said, أَوَّلُوا عِلْمٍ يُنْسَى الْفَرَائِضِ The first knowledge to be forgotten is the faraid. Now some people interpret that to mean tariqat, the, the, the uh, mawarith, the inheritance laws. But Ibn Khaldun, and, and it's a, a much more logical position, it means the ahkam of Allah, the sharia itself.